Diego Maradona was admitted to a hospital in La Plata on November 2, 2020, supposedly for psychological reasons. A day later, he underwent emergency brain surgery to treat a subdural hematoma. After 10 days in the hospital, he was released after successful surgery and was supervised by doctors as an outpatient. On November 25, 2020, at the age of 60, Maradona died of a heart attack at his home in Tiger, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Maradona's coffin, draped in Argentina's national flag, and three Maradona No. 10 jerseys, were lying in state at the Presidential Palace, the Casa Rosada, with mourners filing past his coffin. And on November 26, Maradona's wake, which was attended by tens of thousands of people, was cut short by his family, as his coffin was relocated from the rotunda of the Presidential Palace, after fans took over an inner courtyard and also clashed with police. The same day, a private funeral service was held, and Maradona was buried next to his parents at the Jardin de Bella Vista Cemetery in Bella Vista, Buenos Aires. As much as his remarkable ability with the ball glued to his feet as he wriggled through defenses, Diego Maradona will also be remembered for his insane moments. Number 5. Stealing the show at the 2018 World Cup. Maradona's executive box antics became an entertaining sideshow to Argentina's matches at the 2018 World Cup in Russia, with the TV cameras seemingly just as much focused on him as the actual game. One minute he was dancing with random women, the next he was posing for selfies with fans and stretching his arms wide. He went ballistic when Marcos Rojo scored the goal that took Argentina into the knockout rounds, giving opposition fans the finger. But he was also seen slumped in his seat and was taken to hospital after one game for checks after collapsing. Number 4. The feud with Pele. Every football fan will have their own opinion on who was the greatest out of Maradona or Brazilian legend Pele. It's far to say the pair didn't get on for a good many years, with Maradona making some sordid allegations about his rival. He claimed in the late 1990s that Pele had a gay relationship with one of his youth coaches at Santos. However, the pair did eventually make up after years of bickering. They embraced in public during an event in Paris in 2016, not long after Pele had undergone hip surgery. It is really nice to see him like this, healthy, and being able to join us Maradona said. We should hang together always. And enough of the fighting, enough of the barbs between us. Pele agreed, saying this is a moment of peace, and the Brazilian icon was one of the first to pay tribute to Maradona after his passing. Number 3. An eventful spell as Argentina manager. Back in 2010, Diego Maradona was carrying the hopes of the nation as their manager. It was a pretty disastrous two-year tenure, but he threw up some brilliant moments. There was Maradona, sliding on his belly across the rain-sodden turf, while celebrating the dramatic late goal Martin Palermo scored against Peru to move them closer to qualifying for the finals. Number 2. Fundraising match against team's wishes. Back in 1984, when Diego Maradona was at the peak of his powers. The great Argentinian played a fundraising match in one of the poorest suburbs of Naples to aid a sick child in need of an expensive operation. His decision to play in a charity match reportedly didn't go down well with the club. In fact, it is rumored that Maradona even agreed to pay the insurance required to let him play against the local amateur club. Despite calls to not feature, the 23-year-old decided to take part on a muddy field on the outskirts of Naples, and after warming up in the local cart park, he showed up and played like his life depended on it. Number 1. His insane dribbling skills. The impressive thing about Maradona was his ability with the ball. He was very skillful and had great vision. Technically, he was the most perfect player in the history of soccer. 